Hey guys, it's Sam here from How to Have a Q, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can set up and install Kylie Linux on a virtual machine. Now, for virtual machines, I'd recommend um, VirtualBox. It's made by Oracle, and um, it's probably the easiest to set up and install. But there's loads of different things out there that you could use. So for this tutorial, we're going to be using VirtualBox. So just set that installing, um, downloading right now, and then we're going to head to Kylie.org, which is where we can download Kylie Linux. If we go to downloads and download Kylie Linux, click there, and we're going to want most likely HTTP download. Should just should download the ISO, and now we can just run VirtualBox. So if we just it comes up with this menu, and we click next, next yes, install. And it'll go through this process of installing VirtualBox. Now I like VirtualBox because it's easier to set up and it's not too difficult. And as you can see I've already installed it, so I'm not going to need to reinstall it. But it's basically a process of clicking next and then finish and then launching it. So, so this is VirtualBox. I'm just going to create a new virtual machine by clicking new. And I'm going to call this Kylie Linux. And I'm going to move this down to other 64-bit and click next. And I'm going to allocate a memory size. It depends how big your your RAM is on your computer. Um, for me, I'm happy with allocating at least four gigabytes, which is about four, 400 about there. But you know, it really depends on how much uh, how much you have. Don't go past the green. As soon as you get to this red area, you're going to be slowing down your main system, which is hosting the virtual machine and it's best not to go there. If you're on a laptop or something, you're probably going to be only able to allocate maybe a gigabyte or two, uh, maybe up to four at most. So yeah, just be careful and then click next. And you can choose to create a virtual hard disk, but I'm actually going to be uh, running it this time as a, um, a live version. So I'm not going to have it so it saves anything. So I'm not going to add a hard disk and I'm going to click continue. So if we head to settings, and we go to storage and we add a disk and we're going to choose the disk and we're going to actually choose Kylie Linux here and click open and you can see we downloaded it there and if we click OK now we have now set our Promi master as the Kylie Linux master, uh, Kylie Linux ISO and you would be able to set up and install it if you had the virtual hard drive also here so let's click start And you can see it pops up with these different messages and you can cross them. So now Kylie Linux has started. You can see its little slogan there. Oh, and this uh, here is basically when you want to, when you click on it, you're going to get it capturing your mouse from the virtual machine. So you might not be able to move your mouse. See, I can't move my mouse outside the box. But by clicking the right control uh, key on your keyboard, you can then move it out and you can click again and go back in. So... Uh, from this point we just use the, the arrow keys so we're going to go to, I'm going to go for live AMD 64 and click enter and it will, you'll see all this random text come up uh, what that really indicates is that it is booting up and preparing for first boot essentially now Kylie Linux um, has a massive range of different tools that are well known by the hacking community and ethical hacking community so most people would use uh, Kylie Linux for ethical hacking. Uh, well, that's the nature of it in the first place. So uh, that's that's what it's based around. So you see, it'll take a few seconds from this point, depending how fast um, your virtual machine is going to boot up. I mean, it really depends on your computer specs and um, your storage uh, on your actual computer for loading this uh, ISO file in. I find it normally takes about 10 to 30 seconds for this to load up and you'll see it's now turned on and if you ever get locked out by the way the password for Kylie Linux by default is T-O-O-R or the word root backwards uh, yeah so if we just head to command line you can see there's the basic command line SE toolkit for example that's a very common one that a lot of people would use uh, uh, you can see social engineering attacks, penetration testing, third-party modules. You know, there's a lot of different tools here. 
And then you've also got things like the MSF console, which is um, definitely something that's very useful for loading payloads and uh, managing them. And it'll take a few seconds, and you can see the Metasploit framework is coming up there. And that's basically what the the MSF console is all about, the Metasploit console, the Metasploit framework console. And if you don't want to do it for a command line, I think you can just go into applications and you can see your way through. And you can see they're quite nicely laid out. And you can see there's quite a long range. And I do believe it has a list of uh, word lists in here as well. So you can see, you can actually see all your word lists and there's some pretty big word lists in here. So I hope this has helped you guys learn how to install uh, a version of Linux like Kylie Linux uh, in a virtual machine. Now this is just a very basic tutorial. If you have any questions about the process of install, please be sure to put them down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe. And if you turn that notification bell on, you will get notifications when I release a new video. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. And remember, stay tuned for more videos. Goodbye.